Okay, today I'm going to show you my new square grand piano that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $300. There it is. It's from 1875. So I would say that's a score because these things usually sell for like $10,000 or $15,000, upwards of $20,000. I got this for $300 on Facebook Marketplace. It needs a little work, but I mean, here I am. I can work on it. So this is also a Kranich and Bach piano. There is the date it was made, May 4th, 1875. Here is the soundboard and everything. This needs to be fixed. This goes there. But here is the original tuning of the piano, er, well, the tuning of the piano when I found it. Now I will tune it. Where is my tuning wrench? There it is. Here's what a normal piano sounds like. That's still not the best tuning, but you get the point. Let's tune the piano now. Okay, I have roughly tuned the piano and by ear as well. Now I'm working on these little mutes or dampers. Um, so these stop the note from ringing out longer than you press it unless the sustain pedal is down. While I was tuning the piano, one string snapped, um, but that's to be expected. Um, all these strings are original from 1875 when this piano was made. So to position these just right, like this one right there is off, see? So I go there and loosen this screw, and then I slide this over, and then I re-tighten the screw. Okay, I have everything adjusted in the piano. Probably not perfectly, but this will be the first time I play this piano um, since I've tuned it roughly and worked on the dampers roughly. Okay. Let's see how this is going to sound. Ooh, my voice cracks. And I've got to adjust the damper or the sustain pedal. Okay, I have tuned the piano a little bit, um, not perfectly though. Um, and remember, one string is broken. Um, I'm going to attempt to play a song. Some of the dampers stick and everything, but that's okay. I can fix this um, fairly quickly. I feel. Okay, um, remember, one string is broken. I think it's this one. It's that one right there. But I'll just order another piano wire and it'll be good as new. Excuse me, I just hiccuped. Now I'm going to play the song I wrote in 
little sticking dampers. Um, it needs quite a bit more tuning. Um, I'm capable of doing that, but I just wanted to tune it like very basically right now to see if it'll hold the tune and everything, which it does. Um, now I'll tune it better. And I know at least one person in here will comment, oh, that old piano will never hold its tune, throw it away because it's old and it won't work. That is not the case. Uh, they don't make them like they used to. That saying comes from the old craftsmanship. So this piano is superior. Anyway, um, it can be fixed. Um, anyway, okay, and there is that. Um, I guess I'll put the cover back on it and I'll attempt to play a song with the cover back on it to see if it affects the sound difference. Okay, and here's what the piano looks like with the lid on it. So this is called a square cabinet grand because this folds down this folds, uh, let's open it, this is going to take this, this folds like this to make it look like a table. See? So this thing also props up. I will do that now. And there it is. Okay, now I'm going to play it again. So this piano has 88 keys. Okay, I'm going to do my song again. <laughs> at a time when blacksmiths were common, robots were not, automated machines were not common, and people would make their own things usually. So this piano is fairly easy to repair because if you need a part, you can usually make it yourself.